Well, good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Folari. Um, we're starting off today with our first guest, but he's going to be joined by our second, Hassan Abdulaziz Sani. As always, um, apart from being an opinion molder, he also has a keen eye on the polity. Thank you very much for coming along. Thank you very much. Uh, we're, we're going to be joined shortly. <laughs> we're going to be joined shortly by uh, G.T. Ogunye, um, who is another keen observer of the polity as well as uh, being a legal practitioner. Uh, now, no prizes for guessing where the, what the subject is this morning. It has to be the letter of former President of Basanjo uh, to President Muhammadu Buhari. Uh, we've been, we're, we're, we're fast becoming used to these letters because former President Jonathan got one as well. And uh, by the way, in former President Obasanjo's letter, he made mention of that fact and also the fact that it was nothing personal uh, when it was with uh, GEJ. Now it is about PMB, you can extrapolate that, it's not personal. But the elder statesman says it has to be done so that when the time comes, if indeed it does come, he can't be asked, why did you keep silent? He wasn't keeping silent. In a nutshell, he says the president is tired and is not effective and uh, has actually allowed things to, uh, in one aspect, turn sour, talking particularly about the, the whole rumpus about the marauding herdsmen. Now, first of all, an overview. Give me your impression of President Obasanjo's letter to President uh, Buhari, which he says is in the national interest. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Yori. Uh, this issue of writing a letter uh, is, uh, is no news to us because we knew former President Obasanjo as a prolific writer and a prolific speaker. So by writing to General Muhammad Wahari, and an experienced statesman. You didn't add an experienced Nigerian statesman who has done this job before. Yes. I will get to that level. Um, uh, General Obasanjo. President, former pre president. Former Obasanjo. president, Olusegun Obasanjo. Coming out again to write, taking all the stress to write over how many pages? 13. 13 pages. That shows that he had flares for writing. And he had flares for going to the public. Instead of meeting Mr. President, we are not saying... Which he said has been done. No. But are, no reaction are, has been seen. We are not seen. saying Mr. President is a perfect man. No. 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 He had his own lapses and laxities. We knew. As the governors, we knew. But as a former president that has, that has unhindered access to Mr. President, I see the reason why he should always devote most of his quality times writing and even taking it to the public. Okay, I hear you and I, I, I take that's your first impression about it. But when you look at the content of the letter, what he is saying is that... Um, at the expiration of President Muhammad Buhari's first term, uh, perhaps he's not encouraging him to, you know, seek re-election. Um, that is the right of Mr. President, whether to contest or not to con contest again. He is saying the evidence so far, President, uh, former President Abbasan, the evidence so far would suggest that we are not getting the deal that we bargained for. He says he himself voted for Buhari, but only, he, as he put it, quoting his words now, he always knew Buhari was weak on the economy, according to him, um, but it was a matter of anybody but Jonathan. We had to get Jonathan out, is why he himself voted uh, for President Buhari. So he says, going by the evidence, forget the personalities for the moment, going by where the nation is, um, President Buhari perhaps needs to take a rest, according to President Obasanjo. Uh, let me remind you of what happened when 
former president Obasanjo wanted uh, Ayim Pals Ayim to be a senior president. Let me take you down, that, that, that memory lane. When people went back to him and said, look, this man is on feet, this one is that. Do you know what he said to them? Dress him up to look senior president. When you knew President Buhari had some laxities, why can't you dress him up and equip him? Because nobody's an island. This leadership. And even in his write-up, there was, there was a space there in which he made one statement that, look, nobody is strong and specialist in all aspects of governance. That means Buhari being a mortal, he cannot be a specialist in all aspects of governance. And that one extends to everybody. It goes without saying, Alaji, but then maybe address more specific charges, if you will, uh, things like outrightly calling the president um, a nepotist, you know, that nepotism, uh, looking away from corruption. Uh, again, these are charges that we've heard before in relation to other presi another president, but it, it's, it, it's here now. And don't forget that this is coming. In fact, if you'd seen our program yesterday uh, and the things that we talked about, we were not to know that in another couple of hours the letter would be released. It almost was summarizing everything we said and then going beyond that because he knows the office. So it's, it, 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 I don't know how fair President Obasanjo is being um, because what I mean by that is you hardly hear, for example, in other places, let's take the U.S., we always grab hold of the U.S. by the scruff of the neck when we want to make an example about democracy. Um, if you take the U.S., you hardly hear former presidents commenting, uh, never mind commenting negatively, on what a sitting president is doing. But President Obasanjo is a different uh, person. So he, he does that. And indeed, there will be many who would say that, yeah, that's what he's supposed to do. He even said to us, uh, to, to, to the public, since the letter was released publicly, that that's his duty, really. You know, that's, that's his duty to keep an eye on it. And uh, he wanted Buhari to not run come and join them as former, as, uh, for, uh, you know, elder statesmen, former presidents, and contribute in an advisory capacity. You know what? You see, all that Obasan George stated yes. in his uh, write-up about the condonation of uh, nepotism, yes. corruption, and mismanagement, and what have you, by the inner carcass mm -hmm. of Mr. President. Mm -hmm. We have said it here before. So that part of it, it, president, it you president, can allow. President has a very strong thing going for him. The integrity. People around him can mess up. But nobody can ascribe any of these things nobody. to Mr. President. Exactly. He's a man of high sense of integrity. He's a man with economic wisdom and financial discipline. You see, what is very clear here in Nigeria, we don't appreciate people. We don't appreciate them. He came on the mantra of change. And the man that mantra of change contains two essential things that can make or mar any society, any country in the world. He said, I'm here to fight corruption and insecurity. And you can't find him wanting in these two aspects. On, uh, you know, except recently, when we begin to see marauding Fulani has men doing all sorts of whatsoever. You understand? And people begin to see his silence as a silence of conspiracy because they look at him that as a leader. You should be proactive. Be proactive, more especially when it comes to the issue of the safety of lives and uh, properties. You should be proactive about that. You don't sit down and be thinking of what to do, no. D desperate situations requires desperate actions. I agree with you, but the, the President Obasanjo was so scathing in that letter. I guess he's, President Obasanjo is not everybody's diplomat. So, diplomatese, I think President Obasanjo doesn't bother about that. Uh, when you say of a president, a person who actually won an election and is sitting in office based on that uh, victory, that um, he has 
a poor understanding of the dynamics of internal politics. Uh, that's very, very indicting. Yeah, that's very, very indicting. Uh, you, know, you, know, you know what? But do you, do, do, would you rebut that statement that the president does not lack uh, an understanding, that he does not have a poor understanding? It depends. Because everybody is complaining and it looks like the president is not listening. The, the, is not hearing the issue the because issue. you're not getting any feedback the the issue is this um he raised even more than that much more he talks about lack of understanding of the dynamics of internal politics yes. that's number one he raised the issue of nepotism that's number two he raised the issue of minor that's number three he raised corruption, minor raised, and corruption. You can tie yes, them together. Yes, he raised the issue of lack of understanding of the economy by president. He said he had always known the president lacked, was weak on the economy, lacked, and he lacked the understanding of international politics. And he now said there is a need for Mr. President to look for much more happy hands to do the job for him. You see, it reminds me, when I read that paragraph, it reminds me the, the uh, Dr. Samuel that came on this very, very program. You see, Nigeria is not about specialists. It's not about the consultants. It's about the mindset. Let us begin to look at it. You can decide to be a very good leader, but the problem is this. Are your subordinates sharing the same passion with you? No. So the issue of human resource come to play here. Are those people, because in human resource... Okay, since you want to go there, uh, you can add, to, when you enumerated one, two, three, four things, then add buck passing as well. Because you remember, he, yes. he put buck passing. buck passing. In other words, there's an excuse. No, no, no. There's a reason for everything. But... President Obasanjo know that is treating those reasons as excuses. But, but you know what? Obasanjo also came defending himself. The issue of box passing came to fall in the sense that he accused President Muhammad Buhari of trying to pack the box to, the, to his predecessors. To the previous administration. In which he was the pioneer, pioneer of that uh, democratic disposition. He started from 1999 to 2007. You understand? So, you see, the issue is this. This box passing, even Jeremiah Murubari came out and said something. He said, look, when the whole box passing is now, you know, people are now trying to make it a slogan of the government. He called the attention. He said, please, enough of box passing. Enough of blaming others. Let us think on how to make a change. Because they are trying to turn the box party into an industry. The people around Mr. President, whatsoever they are going to do, they will not give excuses. Previous government, previous government. Yeah, but that, brings the, that, that begs the question, and I know it's a that you probably require more than a few seconds to answer, and I've got to go to a break. But that brings into play the question, is Mr. President actually in charge? Because you said it's one thing to have the integrity of Mr. President. Yes. It's another thing to be surrounded, as you suggested, by people whose commitment is perhaps not at the same level. And so you were implying that therein lies the problem. One man, well, a tree shall not make a forest. Uh, let me take a break now so that I can bring on uh, our second guest, who have an, I have announced earlier, G.T. Ogwe. Uh, he's with us now. And then we'll ask, um, you know, whether there was a need for the letter at all. Stay with us, please. We'll be right back. Okay, so welcome back, and indeed, uh, GT Ogunye is with us. Mr. Ogunye is a public affairs analyst, apart from being a legal practitioner. Thank you very much for coming on, GT. It's my pleasure to be here. Thanks okay. for inviting me. Indeed, our pleasure. Uh, 
The letter of President uh, Abbas and your former President Abbas and your to President Muhammad Buhari. Um, what do you think? It's not it's not the first time, so we we're, we're sort sort of a bit used to it. But did you think the letter was one necessary, two appropriate? I think the letter is necessary and appropriate in the circumstances. Even um, though for, former presidents who have served their own term usually don't comment on sitting presidents. They do. There's a sort of esprit de corps as opposed to coming out and calling them out. They do. Only recently, President Barack Obama took President Trump to the cleaners and chided Republicans who are now pretending that they didn't know the extent to which uh, Trump could go. That when he was on the campaign trails and he was saying all that he was saying, including calling women pigs, didn't they know that they were, it was going to turn out this way? They do. Okay, let Circumstances me, okay, may differ. Thank you. Let me just say, let me therefore adjust my statement to it's only in recent times we began to see, because they, usually there used to be that esprit de corps, uh, but these are different times. A president come, the Trump has actually risen, and he's like no other president. So <laughs> these are different times. But going back to the point, you thought that it was a necessary letter. In the circumstances, look, let, let's start this way. Shivoloshi uh, Ogyongobasunjo has been writing his letters, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. against government. Mm -hmm. uh, you remember the letter he wrote against uh, IBB, uh, which was published by Tell yes. that year, where he alleged that IBB was deficit in principle, deficit in honor, deficit in integrity. He has a way of writing these letters. Mm -hmm. And so, um, even when this letter was yet to come, people were already guessing that a letter might be in the office. In the because office. <laughs> this man has been writing these letters. You know, We've got to know his style. And so, um, we're dealing with, again, power contestation uh, within the ruling class. That's the way I characterize this. Um, and so, usually, when there is this contestation, the ordinary people are then walked up or roped in. Uh, populist uh, things are thrown up, and then you look at that, and then you may then be permitted to think that, oh, uh, this person is fighting for the ordinary uh, people. Um, but why would there be power contestation, seeing as there's no vacuum? Power contestation goes on all the same. Because it is about dispensing economic rights and privileges and opportunities. So it goes on all the same. So long as you have politics being played, there will be power contestation. Okay. Even within the circles that come to power, within Aso Rock, there is power contestation there. <laughs> it's, it's, it's obvious. So everywhere you see politics being played, there will be power contestation. Only, only yesterday, <coughs> you might have missed our program, maybe you saw it. We actually were asking the question, the state of the nation for now, um, the marauding herdsmen, uh, the fuel crisis that is getting to be intractable, we were asking if the, the outcry against these things, if they might possibly impact on the outcome of President Buhari's re-election bid, if indeed he goes for it. We, we asked that question uh, yesterday. And um, to, we didn't get a clear-cut answer, apart from why, why, why wouldn't it, to the extent that it's influencing people and that kind of a thing. But the way we got the answer was such that, um, well, different strokes for different folks. But President Abbas Njil says very, very clearly that it is his opinion that President Buhari should not present himself for re-election. Now, that's coming way out, and that's where I began to wonder how ethical this really was. Although, uh, starting out from, in the letter refers to him as Mr. Buhari earlier. Uh, by the time it got to, you know, a certain place, he now became my brother, Buhari. Uh, I think, if you recall, uh, I think one of, one of the papers actually, you know, did a quotation. <coughs> when it came to what was, you know, sort of real crunchy, he, uh, he referred to the man as Mr. Buhari. So, you know, uh, this, 
you say that this everything is in order. What do you think the president? What, what do you think the president should now do? No, before that, let me just quickly say this. First, we're talking about the SSL exercise of right to freedom of speech earlier. Yeah. So yeah. every Nigerian has that right uh, within the bounds of what the constitution allows. Second, when a navigator becomes a liquidator, we must learn how to tolerate him. Um, I didn't understand the navigator. You will understand. Nigerians will understand. It was Ashwajibola Metinobu who called Obasanjo a navigator when they were wooing him to support their cause. Yes. So if a navigator now says he wants to be a liquidator, Nigeria must learn how to tolerate such a person and then say, look, what exactly is it that you're saying? And if you read that letter, it contains a lot. It does. 13 pages. It contains a lot. Although, you know, uh, we may disagree on motive, but you, 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 you look at the analysis and the conclusion and you ask yourself objectively, okay, now that I said this, are we saying that all that is said are not true or that they don't have semblance of uh, reality that is confronting us every day? I mean, I mean when, when our president tells us, for example, he's not in a hurry to do anything, does anybody understand the fierce urgency of now? You have a four-year term and you say you are not in a hurry? Six months you can't constitute a cabinet? Who is going to wait on you forever? So when a president then celebrates liturgy as a virtue, that yes, I'm deliberate, I want to sleep over something before I take a decision. That is not the right way to go. And that's why, you know, it is obvious that there are lapses. There, 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 there is, we've not seen demonstrable capacity to govern. Okay. Integrity is good. No, no, and I, nobody is talking about exactly. integrity here. Nobody. But there must be a demonstrable capacity to govern. You lead, you don't follow. Mm -hmm. In many of the things that we've seen, including the one you cited, Government ought to have apprehended it. Government is very powerful. Government relies on intelligence. Government relies on the security forces. Now, when government comes out to tell us that some people invaded Nigeria from somewhere, whereas a partisan had said that, yes, we, we retaliated. When they kill us in, in the other place, you didn't do anything. Now, so when you hear things like that, when you see the discordant tunes coming from the same government, you can't but you know, realize that there's this lack of demonstrable capacity. Okay. And so, so um, it, it comes back to being in charge because you expect a president to be in <coughs> charge. And there are so many things that have happened um, that have worried Nigerians as to, wait a minute, uh, is, uh, uh, are you in charge or not? Um, you have the authority to fix things, to address things. And Alaji Hassan, it, it, it would appear that people are saying that the president was being too slow. Even diehard loyalists of the president, you know, put in that proviso before declaring their loyalty. Say, I am still loyal, but I am frustrated. You hear, you hear such, uh, such statements. Um, so things like uh, nepotism that were pointed out, uh, things like uh, looking away from corruption, the minor affair, you know, he puts in there. Uh, I don't know the competency of those who in charge who, who let us go through Christmas into New Year with fewer crises and hate is still lingering. What might the president now do differently? Because all of President Obasanjo's letter, I can just take a guess and imagine that's not the way the presidency sees it at all. Um, I wish to thank former President Obasanjo for wishing us Happy New Year very close to the end of January. But what is very clear here, you see, there's nothing wrong in criticism. If the criticism is, uh, is constructive. Isn't this? Isn't this? I mean, before you go any further, say to me, this is not constructive. It's constructive to some extent. 
But you see, the issue is this. I'm a 85%. Look. 85% look, constructed. Um, uh, Mr. Yori, I'm an unapologetic card carry member of APC. And uh, there are ways I expect the whatsoever, even the party members and even the former president of Basanjo okay. to go about it. Sorting out internal matters. Thank you. But this is not internal. Because, because do you know it's what? It's not a party do you matter. Know, do, do you know Sir, what, do you the know difference what? is that this is not a party I'm seeing, matter. I'm seeing, but, but he was instrumental. He was a major figure in bringing in General Muhammad Wahari. We knew the, the, the you know, unquantifiable contribution made by former President Obasanjo and made by uh, former Governor of Lagos State, Bola Ahmed Chinubu, and the rest. We knew. Because at some, at some level, even their lives were at stake. We knew. It's not easy to confront an incumbent government. But I see nothing why you should bring somebody then you should be the first person to say, pack and go. <laughs> that, I don't understand. That is Do you whole understand issue is. when he had pounded jam with Aldo Ogbe? You remember that meal? I can't remember that. It you can the, remember that? It was the last supper. It was the away. last supper. After a nice <laughs> pounded meal yam with F1 and uh, bush meat, <laughs> Hours later, Aldo Ogwe was out of a job. No, you see, Obasanjo is known for that. For what? For, for that kind of... For calling it like it is? Not, not for calling it as it is. Uh, for ambushing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why? Why? Do you know why? Why? There was a time Obasanjo went to celebrate with the uh, uh, late former Senate okay. President Okadibu. Okadibu. <laughs> Do, you know, Do you know what late Kuta said? Yes. He said... <laughs> This man is celebrating the exit of this man. He was in his house, dealing, dealing with him. But Kuta, by virtue of him knowing Obasanjo very well, so you see this man, he is celebrating the exit of this man. But the man knew nothing about it. Yeah, but Obasanjo can't speak against a competent, working, result-achieving official. He can't. Hey, look, the issue It is doesn't it. matter do what you, know, you say, do you know what because I'm evidence you know, will contradict you. you. But know. the problem here, I think, is that seemingly the perception, let me, I, I choose that word carefully, the perception is that the evidence Nigerians are considering we could have done a lot better by this administration headed by President Buhari. But let me not waste too much time here, sir. Let me look at the national coalition that President Obasanjo brought up and suggested. And just to explain it, he said that's the kind of thing that would be needed and he, he would happily serve on such you know, a, a body. But, and it might well come to the time when it might be presenting people for election. But when it comes, when and if it comes to that, he's gonna step out because he doesn't want to be partisan. Do, do you know, do you he's going to step out of it. Do you know, do you know what? So you let's see, look at that can, national coalition see, he's suggesting. I can see contradiction in his statement about the formation for, you know, coalition. It's the kind of thing that would be needed and he, he would happily serve on such, you know, a, a body. But, and it might well come to the time when it might be presenting people for election. But when it comes, when and if it comes to that, he's going to step out because he doesn't want to be partisan. Do, do you know, do you he's know going to step out of it. Do you know, do you know what? So you let's see, look at that I, national I coalition see, he's suggesting. I can see contradiction in his statement about the formation for, you know, coalition. It's the suggestion for, of such a grouping. For, for Nigeria. Yes. You see, let me tell you. When you are coming up with coalition, you know, the coalition, you, there is no way you can carefully select members. And people are coming with different agendas. And you are telling me that if it comes to party politics, you will now exit. If it comes to this, you will now do this. Look, there is no provision for independent candidacy in our constitution. So tell me how somebody will emerge from that coalition whatsoever, yes. Yes. you understand, without going through a normal uh, party, uh, partisan politics. You understand? No, look, I, I saw, because I read, I sat down very well. I digested it, I looked at it very well. It's not about you reading something. 
digest it and get to know what is inside it. Let me bring in Sadiq in Jag Jigawa State. Good morning, Sadiq. Okay, good morning. Thank you for calling in. Uh, good morning to Mala Sata and uh, the other guests, Mr. Juki. Good morning, Mr. Yes, good morning. Yes, good morning. Okay, uh, former President Uli Shogun has written his letter. So but I think to me, that letter is regarded as test of relevance. He wants to test his relevance by 2019. We'll get to know it's not relevant in the policy. For example, if you can remember, the same Uli Shogun we were talking about had issues with uh, Bola Ahmed And I can assure you that if we're talking about the Southwest, Bola Tinubu is still relevant compared to... Uh, sorry, Sadiq. See if you can, can you know, connect again. Um, the, the, the coalition, the national coalition that President Obasanjo emphasized was a suggestion. If it might well be. But he was suggesting that PDP, rubbish. APC, Kosumo. Uh, there's a problem. Uh, he, he's wiped out the existing uh, b b b b b b partisan or party vehicles and he's saying that we need a complete... So it's... Uh, newspapers, some, uh, people are referring to it as a Scud missile, a bomb, dropping a bomb, etc., etc. What do you think of the suggestion of a national coalition um, in, in view of the fact that we have two functioning parties, well, two main and many, many, many more the, uh, other parties, but he seems to be suggesting a new one. What do you think about that? Well, well that's just a suggestion. Yeah. But the suggestion is important for one reason. And that reason is that it is a clear uh, expression of lack of confidence in the existing political parties, and by extension, the political class. Before now, Chief Olusha Gnabasanjo has been forever lambasting the National Assembly and what they do there. Now he's taking on the executive branch of government. Uh, on a personal level, it also took down the judiciary at a stage, which was not uh, decent. Now, the point I'm making is that if Shivoli is saying, look, it is not APC or PDP, what I'm saying essentially is that Nigerians must take their destiny in their own hand to revent politics and governance. He said as much. Mm. Now, he is not the only one saying that. Many Nigerians are saying that. Look, what do you make of a political class who for the past 20 years or thereabout in the National Assembly has not been able to satisfy Nigerians on their emoluments and on the question of getting what is right, appropriate remuneration. So there are a number of complaints, that, that so, so things I'm, on a list I'm, that I'm, we expected would have been I'm ticked just, off so, by now, so, right? So, so, so um, the point I'm making is that it's not only Chief Olusha that is saying it. Nigerians are saying that this political class has gone broke, has gone rogue, and that perhaps it's best to sack it. He's not the only one saying that. And, um, Many Nigerians are saying it. In, in, and it is not about President Muhammad Buhari alone. It isn't. And it is important that we get that point. Mm. You may say that, yes, Chivoli Jokambasana is saying that because he said that he separated ways with PDP. Now he's angry with the APC. So he can't go back to the PDP again. So it is convenient for him, perhaps, to now argue for. But that would be simplifying a, a very you know, important uh, suggestion. Mm. Nigerians are saying go that through. perhaps we need a third force or at least a merger of all these small, small parties. I've got to go to Divine now. Divine's been waiting for about five minutes. Good morning, Divine, and um, apologies. Please go ahead now. Yeah, good morning, Chief Yori, and the good, good morning to the studio. And the good, good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning. <clears throat> yes, I want to say that the letter wrote by President Obasanjo is right, absolutely right. And the idea says that an elder cannot be at home. Why something go wrong? If Robertsonjo did not say this, we the youth, we hold him responsible. But we look at those, that is the type of people that we look that can even speak to the man at the, at the helm of affairs. Because we know that, yes, if a general can talk to a general, he can listen. 
that you discover that the general at the up cannot listen even to the even the even to the to the lieutenant. So it's left for the general to talk to him. So if anybody is condemning that what Obasanjo is saying is wrong, let that person go back and resume what is happening in the government. Something cannot when when you keep silent, you are you concur with what is happening. So what are we saying? All right. Let us not put a tribal or whatever. <laughs> this is a, a Nigeria issue, and this is not a personal issue. Obasanjo is not right to Obasanjo uh, Buhari as a personal issue. He's telling him this is what is happening, and you are looking at it, and you are telling me a, a sitting president will say that he's, he's come or bring something. So we, even if people from other countries come and invade Nigeria, they will be silent with our crocodile dance and our python dance. Thank all, you. All right. Thank you very much for calling in. Um, coming back to you, Elijah Yassin. President Obas, you know, he's a prolific writer. He's written books. I mean, he likes letters I mean, in between. Um, however, when President Abbas and Joe, most mostly when he speaks, especially in these letters, he's echoing what a lot of people in the polity, ordinary people are saying that don't have access to speak truth to power, or they speak truth to power, but nobody's listening to them because, you know, they ain't got any clout. Everything that President Abbas and Joe mentioned is really something that um, most Nigerians are also talking about and that they feel that if this administration is fully in charge of its own affairs, it should have been better for the nation given the reputation of the president, given the high hopes of based on his integrity. But then, as you said, having people around him who don't see things like that and are doing things that will be embarrassing him and then him not taking action He's not taking, people are saying that why is Daura in the administration at all, at all? Who elected him? The president has heard this, he's looking away. Uh, you see, it's a normal thing for you to be in governance and have somebody. Could that you hold is, it so that I come back to you with a double barrel? Because Fola in London has been holding on for a while. So let me get Fola's uh, comment as well. Good morning, Fola. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Yori. Thank you for calling in. You know, I'm. Um, I have to make it quick, you know, because I know uh, because of the uh, time um, factor. Um, I'm so disappointed listening to Alagi this morning. He's one of our best, uh, um, one, of, one, of our, one of our best uh, people in the house there. You see, you cannot, defend, you cannot defend what is not right. I mean, look at the content from the Chihuahua Batajo. Can you dispute any of those points in there? These are facts. I'm a member of APC, you know, local level, national level, and international level. We supported him right from the scratch. You cannot defend this. He has everything on the table, things to work with. He, he chose to go in the wrong way. It's totally un unacceptable. We have to move on from here because we are going to share all these blames. All these blames comes to all of us, you know, we, we, we are part of it because we put him in there. Okay. You see? All right. Th thank you very much, <clears throat> Fola. You've made the point. Um, but I want to come back to you because that's yeah, Fola's that opinion. To me. Uh, but, yes, uh, as I was saying. Uh, um, please, uh, to Mr. Fola. Uh, I'm Alaj Hassan. I'm a Nigerian. And I'm a, I'm a card carrying member of APC. I'm not a comedian. It is only a comedian that will say things to the, to the hearing of all and to the laughter of all. Uh, I have my own opinion, and you are entitled to your oh, own oh, opinion. Oh, okay. Also. The man talking about being disappointed uh, yes, this yes, morning, yes. Yes, you about, know, that about, you're about one of me. our best contributors, about, about, according to about, him, about me. but something is not going I'm not holding, along his I'm not, own line. Yes, I'm not He's holding, disappointed. I'm not holding brief for Mr. President. I said it earlier. Mr. President has his own lapses and laxities yes. about people around him that are not sharing the same passion with him. It's a, it's a serious problem for you not to be fully in charge uh -huh. while people are influencing things by your side. What is preventing Look, you from being fully let in charge me, let is me what say, people, let I can me say, people asking. Let me say, you are commander let in me chief. Say, you don't share that with let anybody. Let me say a good example to you about this minor issue. A permanent secretary in the Ministry of Interior came out to claim responsibility for the whole scandal 
and nothing was done. Yes. How can that be? And it seems. So how can that it be? It seems to me. No, no. The issue is this. The issue is this. President out of it. It seems some people within the internal workings of the government decided it's an allegation. Mm -hmm. I can be I can be wrong about it, mm -hmm. but this is my own understanding. I say, look, let us use somebody as a scapegoat. Let him come out and say it, and we lay it bare, and we allow it go. This the secretary, the permanent secretary, is supposed to be cooling his feet in jail now, but nothing was done. You see, you don't look other ways because people are robbing on your integrity. We voted Mr. President based on his clean integrity. And the way people are looking at it is this. Look, is there any candidate in sight that can match him even in future election? The answer is emphatic no. Because the issue of materialism, when the issue of materialism comes to the fore, only very few people can scale through. And we knew people are in governance to loot. People are in governance to do whatsoever. Yeah, but the, the way it's seen is that Mr. President has this reputation of integrity and all of that. He will never touch anybody else's kobo. Wait a minute. He will never touch anybody else's kobo. Yes. But his, all the doors are open and he's not looking. But, uh, but, but he himself the, is but, sure. But, but the issue and everybody can attest the issue now that is no this. matter the temptation, see, he will not touch your kobo. Said, you can't say the same about I everybody said, else I said, around. I said, I said, Mr. President. Uh, I, I beg your pardon, sir. Jibola in Abuja, I know I've been holding you on for a while. In fact, I now lost you, know, you, you know, and I owe you a double apology. You know, uh, Jibola, I'm so sorry about that. See if you can get back in. I'll interrupt you know, even myself. You know, you, know, you know what, Mr. Ayori? Mm. You see, it is high time for Mr. President to sit up. Criticism is very good. It's acceptable in governance. It helps you, you understand, to get to know what is happening within you that you don't know. That is leadership. It's left for him now to choose the path of honor, you understand, and deal with the people that are undermining his government. That should be what they call watching the watcher. You understand? He should sit up. We knew that we do respect to him. And then clear out all that nepotism. He, he clear came, out all that nepotism yes, in Asoro. Look, the issue is this. He should be seen the way we have been seeing before. As a national leader. By, 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 by calling you a nepotic, you understand, it's really killing your integrity as a leader. It's really, you know, it's like boxing you to a corner. Because initially, a lot of us, all of us were making excuses for Mr. President. Well, when people saw the first inklings of, wait a minute, this whole distasteful tribal allegation, insinuation, which you would never include Mr. President in normally, uh, we, everybody shouted any such person down. Um, but look at what has uh, happened now. I just tell me something else. Uh, Sunny. Hello, uh, Sonny how are you? Media, I mean, uh, Niger State, good morning. Yeah, Uncle Yuri, good morning. How are you? Very well, sir. How are you? Fine, thank you. What uh, do you think of the guess? president's letter, former president of Nigeria's yeah, letter? Honestly, honestly, I believe it's high time for us Nigerians to always call a space a space. Please continue. The, the press, honestly, things, things are not picking up at all. Today is another story, tomorrow another story. And it, it looks as if the future of this country, the, 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 the younger generation, the youth, do not even have future. So I expect that uh, the president should be very fast in taking decisions, to at least foresee things before they even happen, that things are not really picking up. Do you, do you also uh, agree with President Obasanjo that uh, President, Mohab, of, of uh, course, President Buhari of course, might of not course, seek honestly. re election? The, the, president, the former president has not said anything wrong. He's just telling him to be proactive in taking, in taking decision on doing what he's supposed to do. Nothing is wrong with that. How about re, re election? Well, it's, 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 a, it's a very sensitive issue. It's left for him if the president feels he's capable. That front, in fact, he has not shown that capability. The President Buhari, we used to know, uh, we know the National Assembly is there. Virtually, things are, in fact, things are not picking up. I have to be very honest about it. Indeed. Indeed. Thank you very much for, for calling in. Um, you, 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 I, I saw that you, by you and know, large. You, you know, um, I, look, since. Could have been a lot better. A lot better. You know, 
When a man with single-mindedness and tenacity and passion goes to an office for about 12 years, from 2001, yeah. Obasanjo had barely be settled running. down mm. when President Buhari, then as General Muhammad Buhari, started saying that I can perform better. 2001 and 2003, 2007 and all that. And then you have an election and then this. So how do you think people will think? And you see, the, the President Buhari owes himself a duty. He shouldn't allow wittingly or unwittingly his demystification. That 2015 election was an election like no other across all the divides in this country. Across all the divides, the elites in Magodo, for example, slept overnight just to vote. Yeah, Magodo. Mago it was. A, an election. Nice so, and then time. you have this. How do you think people will feel? And so, then you, you, you justify it by saying, I'm slow. It is the right thing to do. It, that, that can, it now, doesn't sit right, pretty well with anybody. Right here, we don't have the privilege or the, even the balance of having maybe Mr. Femi Adeshino or Mr. Garuba Shehu here and some to desire, speak some from the other side. May I say this? Let me volunteer this. And you can take it to the bank. That man that people regard as an irritant, Shivolusia Gumbasanjo, writing and said that, yes, what is your, you are the problem of this country and all that. Wash out in the coming weeks whether you see the club of retired generals disagreeing with him openly on what he has written across all the devices in the country. So that letter. It's much more serious than what uh, many people uh, what, what, are getting in this country. Uh, to, if I understand, to, to, to be very, very clear, you, you just said that all the generals <laughs> up and down the land that's, that's, are going to be in sync with the contents of that letter. That's the constituency of President Muhammad Buhari. And this and is a public statement I'm making. To be you will holes. see. You will see. Okay, Adam in Ilori, Kwara State. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, go ahead, please. My, my contribution to uh, uh, the former president of Sanjo Leta was, uh, in fact, we've, we've given kudos to Oba Sanjo Leta. And uh, the, the second point is, is that Buhari should wake up to be, to be proactive with his, with his comments and uh, activities. Because presently now, I expected Buhari to dissolve his own cabinet because the cabal are within the cabinet. But if Buhari could not dissolve his cabinet, Buhari, Buhari is just spreading his own government. He should dissolve his cabinet and find another, another person. Then okay. secondly, if, mm -hmm. if, if, if it is about the, the election, people, people, still, people still like Buhari. There's not in, nobody in APC presidency now that can vote and say he wanted to contest for presidency in this Nigeria. It is the only Buhari who can do it. But and to our, hundred, to our the former president later again, Maybe it is not his second time. All people should vote for him it's because of because of that. But he sees ahead. Even if he comes for a second time, there, there will not be any priorities. Okay, thank you very much for calling in. Uh, I'd like to come back to you. Um, as I said, how I wish we had either or both Femi Adishin or Garuba Shehu. We don't. Uh, I fully expect uh, a, a copious response. Either that, or they might go the other way and you know just chill. But they, I don't think they have that option in the presidency because n now, sir, sir, sir. Sorry to cut you. Uh, sorry to eat into your time. <laughs> the best option, the best response to the circumstances is by deeds, exactly. is by performance. But that's where I was going to go. So <laughs> if if it is not chilling out, they are going to have to maybe react and directly fix some of these things that President Obasanjo has spoken about because I believe that a lot of them, but then I, that doesn't count for very much. I mean, it's just you already, what does he know about you know, administration? But I believe there's so many things that could be sorted out by fiat almost. But the president seems to be very, very considerate of democracy, rule of law, due process, all of which are indispensable, but using them as as, as the reason why we're not getting anything done. 
um, the issue so here is what, this. what do you expect mm -hmm. this the is reaction no time, from the presidency to this be? is no time for denials or alibis by the presidency this is the time for action so he has to react whatsoever pointed out in the letter some might be Painful. somehow some are facts when facts were presented before you, you the best thing for you to do as a leader is to act swiftly about it that is a very clear thing Nigeria is one and Nigeria have confidence in Mr. President but one thing is very clear he should sit up more and do more and look at the letter digest it and work it so we are the first a year are, now yes a year is a very long time for governance. any government to perform you should not give way to all this politicking by the side. No. You know what he I, should concern you, you, himself you, with the security, you, with the infrastructure development of Nigeria. Look, I'm, and make sure mm -hmm. the, 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 he refute that accusation of nepotism on him to do the right. And also the, right the fact that he can't handle the Fulani issue because he's a Fulani man himself. That's where President Obasanjo said, you've allowed this to go completely sour. I, I imagine President Abbasanjur doesn't believe that line, no. but the, the, the handling of it has... And, and, he, and, he, and he has the liberty to say that. We are living witnesses to how yes. President Abbasanjur yes. dealt with the OPC here in the Southwest. Uh, Yakub you know, arrested uh, Ghanai Adams, arrested uh, yes. uh, Fajil, and locked them in Abuja for, for months. Yakub in uh, Dokwemu, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Uh, and why are you killing people? And then, uh, good morning to my pastor, GT, and then to uh, Mr. Hazan. Good morning. <clears throat> yeah. Tijori, I think uh, Mr. President give room for this letter. And then I have a lot of reason for seeing that. Number one reason, number one point is that. Let's look back the line. When Mr. President appointed EFCC chairman, and then suddenly the letter come from the Two letters, conflict letter, sent to the Senate. Hmm. The Mr. President I voted for, the Mr. President I can pay for here in Dopemu. I expected him then to take a very drastic measure against who wrote that two letter. Up to today, nothing happened. That's number one. Number two, Shibioli, Mr. President, give room for this letter. When the X man strike people in a Benway state, I expected Mr. President to go there physically. Not instructed them to come to the outside out of here. Mr. President, give room for this. Number three, Mr. Yori, when the Babashe Lawal issue coming up, do you know? How many... Hello? We can hear you. We can hear you. Yeah, do you know how many months it takes, Mr. President, to take that decision that it took? Hmm. I mean, I, in the family here, us tomorrow, I still love Mr. President. But I wanted him to do one thing for us, especially with that we campaign for him. We, he has a lot of people love him. But what I want him to do for us is this. He should appoint somebody, a young person, that he knew that is going to take the bull by the horn, a young person. Let him leave that person for us. Because believe in him, I don't we believe anybody that he choose for him to, to run. If he choose to, not to run. But he has prerogative whether to run or not to run. Do this you want him to run? Do you personally want him to run again? See, he, he ready to be to be sincere with you. I love him, but to me, I don't want. All to right. me, I don't want. He, thank, thank you very much for calling in. Appreciate your call. That was just one individual. Now, as I'm saying, it, 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 we've heard it from President Abbasanjo's side, former President Abbasanjo's side. It coincides with what we've been saying for months on end, um, but I still haven't heard it from. President Buhari's side uh, in the light of this charge. Uh, and that would be through either the president, you know. We have not heard it. Well, well either I've the president calling, the before call, calling uh, what, what is that thing? I've you heard did? it from the wife of the president, <laughs> saying some of these things that have been said. So I heard it from that side. But <laughs> don't, don't be surprised to hear Adeshino and uh, Shehu uh, giving a rebuttal or giving an explanation or whatever it is. They have to react. They're, 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 quite frankly, they're stuck. No, they stuck. They look, have to react. Look, the but, last time, the last time, President Jonathan reacted. We, in fact, somebody wrote a book. Yes. About yeah. that. Yes. Chiding yeah, about some yeah. abusing. Yeah. Was that availing? <laughs> so, <laughs> what will avail is performance. 
deeds. So people need to not see polemics. So if you go go and write a book and be abusing the man, some, that won't solve your problem. Okay, Alaji, you said it. Action now is yes. what is required. They say speak yes. louder than words. Yes, yes. action yes. speaks speak louder, louder, louder than, 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 than deeds. Than um, we'll leave it there until we'll come and examine whatever explanation, rebuttal, response we get from uh, Asa Rock. Otherwise, we have to take it as it is that, well, maybe with former President of Asa you know, giving a shove, maybe we'll get some uh, and, a and now, job. And now you begin to see alliances. <laughs> a lot of <laughs> people you. now, they will come now to, to form an alliance with Obasanjo, either positively or negatively. Coalitions. That's he, what he doesn't want to alliance. 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 Coalition. It's alliance. It's alliance. <laughs> thank you very much, Hassan Sani. Thank and, you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, GT Ogunye. <laughs> Appreciate you, gentlemen. Okay, that's our, that's our program for today. Uh, join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. Um, it'll be Jones Usen in the chair. And um, I'll see you, God willing, on Friday. Bye-bye for now.